Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Priscilla Devetio Suma. You are welcome back to my channel. I thank God for your life. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for your comments. I love your input. May the good Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Today, I'm here again with another, not a gist, but a discussion. That we women, we should be very careful. Whom? we take it as our friend where we get our information from because it's not everybody that is happy with you that you're in marriage some of your mates they are not yet married they are still single you you are married they are envious of you you know what the scripture says it said household enemy and it also says that even in our culture they say show me your friend I will tell you whom you are. Most women these days, they are not ready to be in a man's house. They are not ready to take care of their children. They are not ready to really know the stuff that it entails to be in marriage. This lady, we say, in the same neighborhood. When she was a girl, she has a boyfriend. The girl went abroad. And not only going abroad, they keep contact. She got married to the love of her life. And this man loves her. They have three good kids. Three beautiful kids. This man bought this man. Let me call this my friend Mary. This man bought, bought Mary a car. Using a car, walking. She look good, but she say, but she see, keep contact with her ex. Is that fair? So after theory issue, the ex said, ah, I'm coming to Nigeria. She said, okay, I'm going to be with you. I'm this, I'm this, I'm that. Let me tell you one thing. All that glitters is no good. All you think that, oh, because it's abroad, it's coming back with this, with that. Do you investigate? I know what this man is doing. Do you investigate the type of life he lives over there? No, you don't want to know. Because you want to be married to a man that comes from abroad. The most painful aspect of this is that this man loves you. You have given birth to three children. The man didn't know that the, the wife else is coming back. The wife sold the car, rent a house, three bedroom to welcome this her ex. Leaving the children with the husband. The husband went to what we call a welfare, reported the case. Calling this woman, calling her, calling her. She refused to pick. The day she picked, she said she doesn't have chance. Because the man really wanted to know, I love you. Come back. Where are you? It was later. The man got the gist that the, the woman S is around. They rented the art as so, 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 so place. The man traced it and he found it to be truth. You know how God will have it. The man stays for a while. And he told him, my dear, I'm going back. When he left, he left this woman in rag. The woman had to move from three bedroom to one bedroom. Now, she's begging the man to come back. So, when they went to, to the welfare, the man said, when you were with me, you were well taken care of. Look at the way you are. Not even well kept. What is wrong with you? Now, the woman is begging the man to take her back. My question. Please, I need your contribution. I need your input. If you are in this man's shoe, will you allow this woman to be back? Or, because... She's a woman like you because we should not be judgmental now. Okay, uh, take her back. What about if he's the man? Let me tell you one thing. 
I am against divorce. The scripture says, God said, I hate divorce. And Christ reinstated it. He said, there is no divorce. But there is a but on the ground of infidelity. You left this woman to meet your ex. Now, because the ex has disappointed you, you are not crying to be back in the man's life. If, if that man is your brother, or if that man is your son, will you allow him to take back the, the wife? Because there is an adage in my language that says that, Odwenye Nokwa, Odwenye Nokwa ni. He said, those that carry python, we say carry python. No matter how you will bait a pig, he will still rub himself or herself into the mud. I need your input. Because these days, we are quick to judge. This woman now, in our name, oh, the man should take her back. Sincerely, deep down your heart, will you allow your brother to take her back? Leaving three children with you, had it been this man has gone to marry? Had it be he has remarried? Will you come back? You left him out. You sold the car he bought for you to go and rent a house for your ex. So that means at first instance, there was no love. You married this man because of what you can get. Now your ex has disappointed you. You now want to come back. My dear brothers and sisters, it is high time we call spade a spade. A word is enough for the wise. We should learn to keep our own. To be in marriage is not my mind. But I will tell you, by God's grace, Jesus, be in the center of your marriage. Call him every day. Say, Jesus, I don't want my marriage to lack the honey of life. The Holy Spirit is the glue that glued the man and the woman together. That is why Christ said, the two shall become one. Because the Holy Spirit is so much cemented them together, you will not even differentiate between the man and the woman. Look at couples that have stayed long together. They have physical resemblance. The spiritual one is more is more stronger. Thank you. And God bless you. Thank you for listening. May the good Lord bless you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe, share, and like. Invite people into this channel. I want your input. I want your contribution. Thank you and God bless you. May the good Lord honor you in the name of Jesus Christ. My name once again is Priscilla Kediri, the virtuous woman. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, David and Priscilla. The virtuous woman is my group. My page is David and Priscilla. I'm on TikTok. I'm on Instagram. Thank you and God bless you. Bye.